What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com Don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it's 50 cents a day And don't forget to stop by CMPKits.com and get yourself a copy of Ski Mask Samples Volume 11 It's got 94 one shots, 15 premium compositions, and it also comes with the stems Now today we're going to be looking at an issue uh, that I was having in live that kind of coincided with the UAD console app and I'm so happy that I was able to bring this information to you guys uh, because it was annoying to find <laughs> so anyway uh, here's the deal what I want to do is I want to I want to process this um, this loop right here that I made and I want to make it uh, significantly dirtier and I achieved this by using the external audio effect to get a sound like this The way that I had to go about doing this, um, it involved it involved making some changes in the configuration of my inputs and my outputs. Right. So you see right here, I've got I've got seven and eight um, in my inputs, and I'm and I'm calling that Zulu because that is that is the inputs that uh, that does, that my Zulu is connected to, and then on my outputs, I've got I've got output 17 and 18, um, labeled mixer because that is how I'm connecting to my mixer. So you might look at that, you'd be like, "Yo, what Apollo do you have, bro?" Uh, I've got next four. Okay, well the next four doesn't have doesn't have seventeen and eighteen, um, you know out uh, you know physical outputs across it. So why so why do you have it set up like that? And that would be a good question because I would never set it up like that. What ha see what had happened was is that the way that the uh, uh, I O matrix in uh the, the see the way my bank account is set up the way my I O matrix is set up output seventeen and eighteen are assigned to one of your Q mixes, specifically Q mix one. And why that is significant is because in order to send audio out of your line outputs, you have to use a Q mix, right? So in order to do this, you need to go to your Q outputs, select whichever Q you want to use. I'm using Q one at this time. And you see, like if you have an Apollo, if you have an X4, you know, you have four outputs, right? So you got line, line one and two, line three and four. So I've set it to line one and two because that's where I have my cables connected. And then I, it's, it's channel designation in the software is 17 and 18. And unless you unless you set that up in Ableton Live the way I showed on the previous screen you're not going to get the audio back um, same thing same thing with your inputs right so I have a Focusrite Clarette which I have connected via ADAT to um, to expand the amount of inputs that I have on my uh, on my Apollo right and what I have is I have my Zulu uh, hooked up to ADAT 3 and 4 you see it down here um, in the console, right? So this is this is my Zulu bus, boom, eight at three and four. So that is why that is why we have channel seven and eight being used being used on my audio from, and then seventeen and eighteen. If you don't if you don't match up the actual, and I, and I'll show you again. If you don't match up the channel numbers. If you don't match up those channel numbers with uh, with your I/O configuration inside inside Live or you know whatever DAW you're trying to achieve this with, you're not going to get the audio, and that kind of drove me crazy <laughs> for <laughs> for a couple hours, man. So, um, you know, and here I'll just here I'll just show you um, what I was able to come up with, um, you know, using my external gear and dropping this in. All right, so 
you know, obviously now you can see the transients look different. The Zulu and the Silver Bullet are adding, you know, some compression, some uh, and some harmonics. Listen to one. So this would be cool, like a parallel effect. And you see, I'm not really dealing with like any phase issues or anything like that because I had the hardware latency set up. Um, if you go in here, you just check your overall latency, add that to your hardware latency and you'll be set, which is, you know, very important for, um, you know, when you have a full session, this will, uh, your hardware will introduce latency that will, you know, that will cause the timing to drift and it's a super buzzkill. So this is CMP with Craftmaster Productions, studio12tutorials.com. You guys keep it simple. Don't be basic. And we'll see you on the next one, fam.